up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're back here in San Diego, California for the launch of one of the most iconic nameplates from an iconic Japanese brand. This is it. This is the 2023 totally redesigned Toyota Prius. This particular one is the mid-grade. This is the XLE trim. But before we get into this super sleek extended horsepower and range hybrid vehicle. Let's talk about what's going on here. Prius. When people hear the name Prius, they already get the idea of maximum fuel savings. Now, what's interesting is that Toyota has been around for decades. They know how to build reliable vehicles. Well, guess what? They also know hybrid technology. They have been doing it for over 20 years. Now, what's interesting is that in Toyota's lineup, they still have a focus, a very strong focus on sedans. Of course, big two big nameplates, Corolla and Camry, still in existence. And what's interesting is that those two vehicles have now entered into the hybrid forum of the auto industry, which makes it quite interesting now with this Prius being, of course, Toyota's baby of that early hybrid introduction, but now competing with two rival siblings in Toyota's lineup. Now, for this new generation, we got a new platform, we got a new shape, we got a new size, and like I said, we have further range and more horsepower. But what I want to find out is, if you're looking for that vehicle from Toyota specifically that is going to give you that maximum range, but also do it with technology and style. Should you go with the new Prius or should you go maybe Camry hybrid or even Corolla hybrid? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into our all new Prius and find out right off the bat, the shape. You are not going to be confusing this with any other vehicle that Toyota makes, let alone really anything else out there with this new silhouette sporty design you're gonna get standard full LED headlights on the XLE grade. Now you get your three grades, LE, XLE, and Limited. We have our LED projector beam headlight, our turn signals and daytime running lamps. And then of course, working your way down, you're even gonna get lower exterior lighting as well. Now, if you're comparing this to the Camry or the Corolla, this has the sleeker look, but you gotta think about it. The Corolla is getting a refresh for 2023, a little bit sleeker front end. The Camry really hasn't been touched for a couple years now. And you could see the difference in what the new style and the new design philosophy from Toyota compared to the Corolla and the Camry. But it's crazy to think that we live in a world now where I'm actually introducing the Prius as the sportier option compared to the two. Now, as we come across that front nose grill area, you do get functionality both top and bottom. You're getting a good amount of ground clearance. And I like the way that they didn't go gloss black crazy. I think that's one of the things compared to the Camry, especially the Camry hybrid. There's a lot of gloss black and the design is looking a little dated. Here we see that kind of blending of the Prius, the BZ4X. And like I said, just a lot of new design philosophy going on at Toyota. Now, when we get up onto the long, low slung hood, this car kind of falls in between the size of a Corolla and a Camry. Corolla is the compact, Camry is the midsize. This new Prius really falls into play. It's going to be wider. It's going to be longer and have a longer wheelbase. But when you compare it, like I said, to the Corolla, definitely a little bit larger vehicle but not as large as a Camry. Now, as we come around the bend, when we talk about wheel and tire setup, there's actually not a lot of choice. If you go LE, you're gonna get a small 17 inch wheel. If you go XLE like this particular one is, or limited, you're gonna get the larger 19 inch wheel. And that's what we have here, machine aluminum, gunmetal metallic gray. It actually looks very similar to a Toyota Camry wheel. So. One of my zonks is I wish they would have differentiated the wheels on the Prius a little bit more. What I mean by that is give me a different wheel than what the Limited has. This is actually the same wheel. And I think that it kind of makes the difference between the, the trims a little murky. So it's a good looking wheel. It's a clean wheel, but it looks like something that 
would also be on a Camry. Corolla kind of has a little bit sportier wheel, but you're looking at 195 on the width of the tire, 50 series sidewall, and then you do have that metallic black area around the fender openings. That's another area where I think they could have differentiated the, the trims between the different Prius uh, in, in the lineup. But compared to the Camry or the Corolla, you're seeing a lot of that similarity. So it really comes down to overall taste with wheel and the body. I would have liked to have seen on the XLE trim this be color matched, especially with this nice dark metallic gray color that we have. Very, very classy, but also sporty at the same time. Now, this is an all-wheel drive option, and before you freak out, you can get the Camry or the Corolla as an all-wheel drive as well. Prius, you don't have to stick to all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is an option. So something to think about, you can still have your front wheel drive Prius. We have the metallic gloss black on the mirror caps, no 360 degree cameras. So it's interesting that if you look at the trims between XLE, between the different models that we're talking about in Toyota's lineup, it's interesting what you get when you go with each trim based on the model of Toyota product. Now this one has the optional solid glass roof, panoramic roof. So on a Corolla, you're not getting that. On a Camry, you're not getting it like that. So that's a fixed panoramic glass roof. It is an option, but you'll see the nice, clean, crisp lines. No longer does it look like it was folded into some kind of like origami type character or creature. It now has very clean, very purposeful flow to the design, especially on that lower portion Working our way towards the rear, I love the way they hide the door handle. And I think that that's something maybe in the next generation of Corolla or Camry, we might see more of that, but that really cleans up the style as you get to the back of the vehicle. And then one of my favorite things compared to the other two that we're, that we're looking at is that this has a nice hatchback, sportback lift design. So you're gonna have that nice glass that comes down. This is all gonna lift up and really just how everything flows super clean around the back. You got your XLE badge, nice gunmetal metallic gray, our Toyota badge, super flush, and it's interesting how they took design cues from the new Crown. That's something that the Corolla or the Camry does not have this new sleek look. We got the Prius badge, of course, hybrid electric vehicle, and then super clean on the back portion a lot cleaner than what you're gonna find in the other two. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about power in this new Prius. All right guys, we do have a prop rod holding up the hood. And just like the camera, the Corolla, those also have prop rods as well. Underneath the hood though, we have a new engine in this new generation of the Prius. So what you're looking at is a two liter inline four that is paired with an electric motor in front wheel drive mode, it produces 194 horsepower. With our all wheel drive, it produces 196 horsepower. We're using the fifth generation hybrid system. So we now have a lithium ion battery pack, which is underneath the rear passenger seats. We have electric on demand, all wheel drive. Zero to 60 is really where it's, it's bringing it. Zero to 60 in an all wheel drive is seven seconds front wheel drive 7.2, and if you go with the base LE, combined MPGs is 57 MPGs. That's going to make this the most fuel efficient hybrid currently available in the United States, and that's comparing it, like I said, to the Camry or the Corolla and the rest of the competition. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what's unique about this all new Prius. All right guys, we're inside the 2023 Toyota Prius, this being an XLE trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I wanted something to get me some better fuel economy. I was looking at one of the other Toyota products you're mentioning, but I'm definitely digging this Prius, especially on the outside. I guess the big question is, how much is it? So we will have pricing for you in the first drive which is on December 14th at 7 a.m. Eastern time. But I'm telling you, your mind is going to be blown by what they're bringing and what the MSRP is going to be for you. But while we go ahead, let's continue this comparison between Corolla Hybrid, Prius, and Camry Hybrid to the door panels. 
I like the way you have a different style door panel than the other two. Nothing that's going to cause fingerprints unless you're eating a powdered donut. That's the only way you're going to get fingerprints on this door panel because everything is a nice, flat, soft material. Door pocket is a little tight. The good news is, is you could get at least, I would say, four California rolls in there and a nice, large kale smoothie from Jamba Juice. But other than that, you're going to have to save it for the cargo area. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, I love the new shape. Very clean, very modern, very soft. You got some blue LED lighting, which remember blue being that hybrid color. BZ is the new badge designation for all their electrified vehicles beyond zero with the blue. And then we have the optional 12.3 infotainment system screen. Now, standard is going to be an 8 inch. The great news is by being able to show you the 12.3 inch, it really shows you how this outdoes the Camry and the Corolla's infotainment system. Yes, it's that floating iPad style, which you're either going to love or hate, but Toyota does it so smart to where it does not block your line of sight. And I actually like the way it's kind of staggered a little bit lower. You'll notice the Prius name. It's these little touches that they do within this whole car that really shows their dedication to detail. And then, of course, you're going to get that new multimedia system. Like we showed you before, one of my favorite things is being able to have those different drivers in your family where you could set up your presets, radio stations, even music off of your phone device gets automatically transferred when you set up your different drivers in the vehicle. Another thing, of course, when you pull up vehicle, you could get your trip information, you could get into the climate controls, obviously full touchscreen capability. And then remember, we have a Prius with modes. So I'll show you where the mode selector switches in a second, but going into the different modes, I like the way it shows up on the infotainment system screen. That to me is very smart, eco sport, and then custom. Of course, you could go and set up all those different things. And then of course, what about backup camera? We're gonna go ahead, throw it into reverse. The resolution could be a little bit better and it could be a little bit larger. But other than that, not too shabby, very similar to what you're gonna find on a Corolla or a Camry. And you have, of course, your actual volume knob, which is very important. And you got that, hey, Toyota, whole setup with this multimedia system, which is great. You got your power on button. One of the biggest things that's different from the XLE to the Limited is this blank button on both sides. So we have three stages of heated seats, but no ventilated seats. So if you want your backside cooled, you're going to have to go Limited trim, and that's where you're going to have those buttons. One thing that's a little worrisome is that there's no dual climate. You have your temperature gauge, toggle switch, blower fan speed, but there's no dual climate option on any of the trims. And if you're comparing that to the Corolla or Camry, that's where you could get that dual climate for the certain trims and also get that hybrid technology. Now we do have our USB-Cs, two of them down below, a 12 volt. And of course we have our tray for some chips and underneath you remove it for the guacamole. How smart is that? Have your chips and your guacamole as well. Just make sure that if you go to Chipotle, you are aware guac costs extra. I've warned you. So just be aware when you go there. Two cup holders. No longer do we have that funky, freaky shifter. You have a traditional shifter set up very similar to the Crown, different than what's in the Corolla or the Camry. This is an eCVT. There's your drive mode selector switch I was toggling through. We got our pure EV mode. Shut the traction control off. And you have your Qi charging right on the side. And let me show you how it works. I'm actually going to demonstrate this. This is a cell phone, also known as a smartphone. This is a Qi charger. What does it do? You bring the two together. So you literally just plug it in. You get the light to let you know it's charging. And there it is. I really like how easy it is. That way you have that extra space for the snacks. And you don't have to do chips and guacamole. That's just a suggestion from San Diego. 
Not the softest of armrests. I've definitely have felt better, but you open it up. Let me show you the key fob. There's your new Prius key fob. How do I know it's Prius? Because it says it right there. There's our buttons on the back. Real easy and simple. Two USB-Cs. And I would say you could probably fit eight golf balls in there. So if you had your ball signed by Tiger Woods and all the rest of the, the golfers like Happy Gilmore, uh, you know, and uh, obviously Arnold Palmer. Do you like Arnold Palmer's? Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting hungry and thirsty. Plenty of room in there. Soft text material with the stitching, like the different colors that they're using. Nice and perforated. You do have manual seat control for the passenger. The great news is I have electric assist for the driver. And then the even better news is we do have this fixed glass panoramic roof. I guess the only zonk would be these manual shades. Kind of a little weird. Not hard to operate, but just a little weird. But why don't you come over here to the business end. I want to show you behind the new wheel in this Prius. Right, guys, we're behind the wheel, the business end. What's interesting, even with the lower roof line, still plenty of room in here. And remember, I'm six feet tall. You got your eight-way adjustable seat for the driver. Nice electric assist. Steering wheel is plucked right out of the BZ4X. Let me know how you feel about that. Very unique design. I do like the way all the buttons are flat black. I am going to have to zonk the horn button. Just not a very attractive looking device. It is manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you do have that seven inch display, digital gauge display that they want you to use like a head up display. And you can see there's tons of different information that you could scroll through, actually a plethora, including your energy monitor. And then within that, you could scroll both left and right to show all different information, including all wheel drive getting to the ground, your tire pressures, there's our energy monitor. And then there's still even more. We have, remember, Toyota Sensing 3.0 technology. So you're gonna have that safety technology to keep you and your family safe. Other than that, that is as quirky as it gets in this new Prius, but why don't we get into the back seat and see how it stacks up to the mighty Corolla and the midsize Camry. All right, guys, back seat time, and here's where, once again, the Prius is really showing its flexibility with rear passenger room. I got plenty of headroom. I didn't shrink back here. Feels definitely more room than a Corolla. Still, the Camry's going to have maximum rear seat room for your passengers. I am sitting on the new lithium ion battery pack. Gone is the nickel metal hydride setup. We do have the soft text material all the way around the back. Two USB-Cs, no rear AC on any of the trims. So I am gonna zonk that, especially once you get the limited, you would think there'd be rear AC vents. I have a pocket over here for my lightsaber. You could actually put two lightsabers. So if you're a Star Wars fan, that's really where you're gonna to wanna to put the lightsabers. It's always interesting. Let me know in the comments section, are you going Star Wars or are you going Star Trek? Let me know. And then of course, live long and po prosper by pulling down this armrest, semi-soft with the two cup holders, flip it back. Let's get to that cargo space because I wanna see how it stacks up to the Camry, which is large. All right guys, time to get in that rear cargo area. It's, it's cool because there's actually some fun Easter eggs around the Prius that they've added. With the XLE trim, it is a manual lift back. So to get electric assist, you gotta go up to the limited trim, which is the top trim. So you're gonna hit the button and then you're gonna use just a little bit of muscle. The beach is that way, surfers, so surf's up. And here is another Easter egg. It actually says hybrid reborn. And it makes sense saying that with this new generation of the Prius, you're gonna get 20.3 cubic feet of space. And I really like just how large that lift back area is out of the way. Another thing to showcase is that no longer do you have that quirky design with the rear glass. I don't know if you remember on the previous generations of the Prius, they would actually have this portion be rear glass to help you see out the back. The glass is now all one piece. So it looks so much cleaner. All this room, you do have a nook over here where you could easily put, and I actually stacked them up, Lori and I stacked them up, 15 in and out burgers. And then what's also nice is of course the seats will fold down and they do a 60-40 split. Real simple, just hit the button on the back of the seat and you push down. 
that's now going to maximize our space, more room than, it's, than what's in a Corolla or a Camry. And what's nice is it's totally flat. So you could go to Costco, you could get your big old 90 inch LED, full, powerful surround sound system, entertainment system, TV, the only Zonk, no spare on the XLE trim. So something to think about. Now, I know you want to see how this drives and I want to bring it to you. You're going to have to wait for that first drive. When is it? Wednesday, December 14th, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Be here because I got the keys and we're going for a spin in a totally different Prius. It is a limited trim. We're bringing the big guns for the first drive. But until December 14th gets here, which I'm going to set my watch right now. Uh, it's, it actually it runs off the sun energy, so I got to make sure I do okay. Before we get to that first drive, let's wrap it up from San Diego. All right, guys, it's been a crazy day out here in San Diego with the new Prius. Definitely want to thank the whole Toyota team for inviting us to this media launch. Remember, mark your calendar, set your clock, set your watch, talk to Amazon Alexa, whatever you got to do to be here for the first drive Wednesday that is going to be December 14th at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. But until then, let me know what you think about this Prius compared to the other hybrid sedans in Toyota's lineup, the good old Corolla and the Camry. Which way are you going to spend your money? Are you in love with this new shape? Put your comments in that comment section below. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we got to give it up to the muscle behind the lens, the brains behind the camera. Lori working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.